welcome to another video it's your girl here echo jane so in today's video we'll be making our black rice oil this is the black rice and we'll also add in our rosemary leaves i'm using dry rosemary i'll also add organic cold press castro oil as well as our olive oil then we'll add in our vitamin e oil our peppermint oil also will be going in there then we'll also be needing a clean mist jar here so to start off we'll need to wash our black rice i'm using five tablespoons of black rice black rice oil in recent years is now making waves in the beauty world let's see the many benefits this Alexa has to offer our terraces black oil is known for its powerful benefit because it's rich in antioxidants black rice is loaded with and tocinize. This powerful antioxidant fights free radicals that can damage hair and lead to premature graying. Black rice also promotes hair growth. It reduces hair breakage. It acts as a natural conditioner and fights off dandruffs and scalp issues. Black rice also impacts natural shine. Therefore, embracing the goodness of black rice oil can be a game changer for you and your hair care routine. Whether you're looking to boost hair growth, reduce breakage, or simply add a touch of natural shine, products infused with this ancient grains oil must just be the answer. So, the next time you're browsing the hair care eye, Keep an eye out for the magic of black rice oil. I'm done washing the rice. Since it's still wet, I need to dry it using the frying pan. So you put it on very low heat so that the water will dry off. If not, you blend it like this and it has water inside. It's going to have mold. And since we don't want to put preservatives, we need to dry it very low. Once it starts drying, the rice would separate from each other. But now it's sticking to each other because of the water. When doing this, make sure you keep an eye on it. Don't leave it unattended so that it doesn't burn. If not, your oil will have the smell of smoke in it just be patient with this don't be too in a rush and increase your heat leave it on this low heat to dry it not it's going to burn it you still leave it on the heat until you feel like it's about some of them are about to pop like a popcorn then you know that it's completely dried i'm going to allow it to cool a little bit before I blend it. But right now it's still very, very hot. This is what it looks like after drying it. Now I'm going to turn it in my blender and blend it. This is what it looks like. I didn't grind it to powdery form because this will do for what we want to make, uh, make use of it. So there's no need to blend it until it's like um, a floor. So now I'm going to transfer it into my jar. So now I'm going to add my rosemary dry rosemary leaf i'm going to add in about two to three tablespoons because we want this to be very very potent i already measured in 100 ml of olive oil now i'm adding 50 more making it 150 ml of olive oil Thank you. 
I'm going to heat this up a little to allow the black rice and the rosemary leaf to infuse into the oil. So I'm going to leave this in here for about 10 minutes to infuse before I remove it and keep it for about two weeks for it to infuse properly before using it on the head. I think I'm going to turn this water into a smaller bowl so that the whole jar will sit inside the hot water. After I'm going to leave it for about two weeks for it to infuse properly so there's no need using too much heat. And after this, I will add my essential oils later on and allow the rice and rosemary to infuse into the oil for two weeks before using it on my daughter's hair and my hair. So it's been about five minutes that is sitting in the water. Can you see all these natural ingredients? Oil is very, very potent. So now I'm going to close my jar and let it sit in the cabinet for two weeks for it to infuse properly. Can you see this? So guys, it's been two weeks of infusing this. So now I'm going to strain out the oil from the rosemary and rice so that I can have it in my bottle. So now I'm going to add in my essential oils, my vitamin E oil and my and my peppermint oil. I'm going to be adding about 8 to 10 drops of peppermint oil vitamin e oil same amount so now i'm mixing everything together so that my vitamin e and the um, peppermint oil will mix together in the rice oil so now i'm transferring it into my bottle for easy application my black rice hair growth oil it's ready so guys if you like this video please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below hit the like button and subscribe until i come your way next time it's your girl here echo jane thanks for always been there Mwah. Love you guys.